There's a Bible story that teaches the law of averages. It's an interesting story called the parable of the sower. The parable of the sower, the story of the sower. And if you haven't read it for a while, it's an interesting, very interesting uh, story to read. It's a great illustration of the law of averages, the parable of the sower. The sower in the ancient days was the guy that planted the crops. They called him the sower, right? They got the ground ready. I don't know just how they all got it all ready, right? But they got the ground ready. And this guy called the sower was the planter of the crops. And he would take a bag of seed, walk across the field, and he would, right, sow the seed and plant the crops. They called him the sower. Now, the story of the sower is a typical story of life and people and results and what you can expect, right? And then you let the obvious be your best teacher. Now, when you read the story of the sower, you'll come up with some interesting, uh, some interesting points. First, the sower was a wise man. And when you read the whole story, you'll come to the conclusion the sower was a wise man, which is a high advantage. Right? You don't want to send a dummy out to plant. Right? We will all starve come fall. Next point of the story was the sower had excellent seed. Excellent seed. Story says he had the best. He didn't settle for something cheap and second best. Third point of the story, he was highly ambitious. And when you read the whole story, you'll come to the conclusion this man was ambitious, which is an admirable quality, ambition. And then he went to work. Guy says, oh, I knew there was a hitch in here somewhere. That's where it is probably, right? The guy goes to work. Now the story with the sower, with the excellent seed, highly ambitious, Opportunity all around him. He has the capacity. He's got the seed. Everything's ready. And he starts out to sow to get some results. Now, it's an interesting story about what happened to him. It's a typical story of life, but it's fascinating. Here's what it says. He starts out to sow the seed early in the morning, but the first part of the seed that he sows falls by the wayside and the birds get it. He's sowing this good seed, highly ambitious man sowing this good seed and the birds are grabbing it. He sows some more and the birds grab that. He sows some more and the birds grab that. Now, remember this is a typical story of life and people. Now, is that fairly typical? See, I got to tell you as a leader, the birds are gonna get some of the seed. You get a hold of John. Let's say you're in real estate, right? Somebody here's in real estate. You get a hold of John. John says, hey, I'm looking for a change. I need a new uh, occupation change. And I've heard about real estate. You say, John, come on over Friday night. We're gonna have this orientation class and we'll show you how to do it. Might be the new life for you. Earn the money you want to earn. Get your life turned around. Who knows what'll happen? John says, sounds great to me. Uh, I'll be there on Friday night. Learn all about it. I'll probably be one of your best salesmen. Say, okay, see you Friday night. Now come Friday night, 7.30, supposed to start. John's not there. Hmm. Say, well, maybe the traffic's a little heavy. So uh, we wait till quarter to eight. About eight o'clock, we come to the conclusion. What? He's not going to show. Question. What's happened since this unique conversation that you had with John and you dropped on him this great idea? You've got the explanation, helped change his life. He said he would agree to be there, and he's not there. What's probably happened between then and Friday night? The birds done got the boy. <laughs> got him. And who knows who the heck it might be, right? Maybe it's his brother-in-law, right? Says, real estate, you're not going to mix up in that, are you? Talked him out of it. Or he's plumber. Says, let me tell you about real estate. He's plumber. Now, if you get the message back as to what happened, see, here's where you might get off track. There's a couple of things you can do when the birds are grabbing the seed. One is you can chase birds. Sit those dirty birds, and away you go after the birds. You say, wait till I get a hold of his brother-in-law. I'll straighten him out. Tear him a new page. What does he know about real estate? His plumber. Now, see, you're off trying to straighten things out rather than accepting it as it is. The best study of life is how it is, not how you wish it to be, not how you wish to rearrange it, how to take advantage of how it is. 
Some people would rather get even than to get ahead. <laughs> they get off course. See, if you're off chasing birds, you have left the field. You're not sowing anymore. Now your chances go down instead of up. There's some things you don't try to cure. There's some things you ignore. Here's what it said this wise sower did. It said he ignored the birds and he kept on sowing. How clever. There's some things you just got to accept. That's the way it is. So he keeps on sowing. And here's the key. If you keep sowing, you can sow more than the birds can get. But the birds are part of life. And don't press me why I didn't arrange all this. I don't know. It's just the way it is. So he keeps on sowing. Now the story says this sower keeps on sowing. Now the seed falls on shallow ground, rocky ground where the soil is shallow. And it says the little plant starts to grow. This time the birds didn't get it. But the first hot day, these little plants wither and die. Now that's kind of disappointing, isn't it? But see, that's bound to happen. This time you recruit John. John says, I'll be one of your best. He doesn't show up at the third meeting. You say, where's John? Say, I don't know. Somebody said, boo. And he... <laughs>